Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, in lieu of Battlefield 2042 being cancelled, DICE thought it would be useful to remind us uh, of the minuscule content that is still yet to come for Battlefield 2042. So, they went ahead and released a spring roadmap and actually gave us some specific dates, which I do appreciate very much, and I'm sure you will appreciate these dates as well. So, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I have to thank you guys for the massive support on the last video. I kind of knew that video would pop off, because it was such shocking news, but the comments were very funny. Uh, I would actually recommend you guys going back and reading those comments because they're just banger after banger. And for those of you asking about the best weapon setups for every single weapon in Battlefield 2042 video, that video should be coming out before April 20th, okay? Like, somewhere in between there. I actually have a lot of videos I'm trying to schedule all at once now, which is abnormal, so don't worry, it will be soon. The first thing I would like to go over is, of course, the spring roadmap that Battlefield tweeted for us. April 16th, there will be a update called Update 7.1. The patch notes for Update 7.1 are actually coming out today as of this video coming out, so the patch note video will be tomorrow, if that makes sense to you guys. Then on top of that, a limited time event called the Crimson Front will be releasing this event actually seems more interesting than some other events because this event is bringing back the fan favorite mode that originated in Battlefield 1 called Frontlines, and I'm actually very interested to see how this plays. Frontlines in Battlefield 2042 will take place on Haven, Redacted, Discarded, and Reclaimed, and it will feature a mixture of Conquest and Rush with a player count of 20 versus 20, which I think is criminally underrated. 20 versus 20 has always played very well, in my opinion, throughout all Battlefield games that have actually featured it. The usual things that come alongside Battlefield 2042 events are making another appearance with this event. Of course, a multitude of new store bundles, which of course I will not be buying, and you shouldn't either, and uh, some very minuscule things that you can unlock for free just by playing the mode. I have a feeling this mode is going to be very popular, so you should not have a problem actually finding a game for this. The Crimson Front game mode starts on April 16th and runs through April 30th. Jumping back to the spring roadmap, you can see April 30th is actually when they give us the stadium map. So, end of April, stadium, we'll be playing it, and that will be the final map Battlefield 2042 will ever receive. I just want to remind everyone of that. So you can tie it up with a zipper, maybe like a broken zipper, I think that would be poetic for Battlefield 2042, because... We, for the first time, can take a step back and look at every single available map for Battlefield 2042 and just see what is going on with that. In my opinion, easily the worst maps ever in a Battlefield game. I don't really think there's much debate about that. Jumping ahead on this roadmap a little bit, uh, we have Update 7.2 coming out in mid-May alongside of the new LMG and the new Draugr aircraft. And another very important thing to remind people of, in mid-May, when we receive the Draugr and the new LMG, that will be the final pieces of content that we ever receive for Battlefield 2042. That is it. Nothing else is ever coming. The only thing they will be doing to Battlefield 2042, as far as I'm aware, is doing game mode rotations and maybe some events. I don't actually know. I'll double check that. But we're not getting any new content. No maps, no guns, no anything. Looking past mid-May to about May to the June area, we're also receiving another limited time event called Battlefield Future Strike, and apparently there will be a fan favorite mode from Battlefield 1 that will be returning in one of these future events. Apparently it is from the They Shall Not Pass expansion from Battlefield 1, and I, if I have to be honest, I don't remember what mode was featured in that expansion, so if you want to comment down below and remind me of that, I want to say maybe it was like Conquest Assault, but I, I'm probably wrong. In fact, I am definitely wrong, because Conquest Assault, at least in my experience, has never been a fan-favorite mode, and has always been unbalanced garbage. So, refresh my memory in the comment section, if you will, and that is pretty much it for the Spring Roadmap. I did want to mention some of the free unlockable items you can get by playing the Crimson Front event. Uh, you get a player card tag, a weapon charm, a weapon skin, and a Boris Specialist skin. Uh, I don't know why they always give Boris skins. I mean, I kind of do, let's be honest, guys. Um, nobody good plays Boris. But hey, I would, I would never say anything like that. Uh, the skins look pretty cool. There's actually an insane DXR skin, uh, but 
guess what? Skins are not content. It's just something a little extra. Uh, Dice tries to fool us into thinking skins are content, but it never really works. And I actually happen to have some more information on this Frontline game mode that was just posted uh, in terms of how Frontline is going to be set up. The enemy's final sort of push, the final defensive line on Haven, corresponds with the deploy bases of Haven Conquest, if that makes sense. So in order to, I guess, fit this, DICE has slightly extended the playable zone inside of the Frontline's game mode so you can actually get around and flank and destroy the MCOMs. This post does not say anything about the other layouts for discarded and redacted, but I would have to imagine that they don't really have much room to do that on redacted, and on some of the bigger maps such as discarded, they probably did either constrict or extend based on how the mode played in that particular map. So I am interested overall to see how Frontlines plays in Battlefield 2042. If I had to guess, it's not going to bring us back to times of old, ladies and gentlemen. I do think out of everything Battlefield 1 had, Frontlines was one of those special things. I think Frontlines was very clearly specifically designed for some areas of Battlefield 1's maps, and overall the atmosphere and just the way the game played really lent itself to a more linear uh, Frontline-based experience, because of course it's World War 1, and then of course the map design. If I had to take a guess on how Battlefield 2042 Frontlines is actually going to play, it'll likely be extremely spammy, just like the rest of the game, and that's very unfortunate. Um, I don't think we'll have situations like in Battlefield 1, where, say, one guy puts a mortar down and then mortars the entire front line, then there's a big revive train. I think you're going to see a lot of Irish walls, a lot of APS, a lot of Zane, a lot of Sundance grenades for sure. And, you know, that's fairly unfortunate in my opinion, but that's the fault of Battlefield 2042's game design itself. But perhaps on larger maps that aren't as building heavy, such as Discarded, it will play significantly better than I'm anticipating. Also, I think there won't really be much sniping unless the sectors are extremely wide. So that's going to be it for this video. Remember, guys, the patch notes video is going to be tomorrow, and I'll probably include some other things inside of that video as well because I'm sure some more news will come out. So be sure to turn notifications on, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. I said all that backwards. Just ignore that. Uh, follow the Twitch stream first link in the description. Of course, follow me on Instagram and Discord as well. And I do have to say that I'm going to try to start writing the script for the official Battlefield 2042 review, probably after I play the stadium map, because I think it's fair that I wait until I make that video until all the content is here to actually play. So if that makes sense, there's the information for you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Vehicle spot. Danger located.